You know what I find funny? Other organizations will point the finger and say, hey, you know, this person is bad for whatever reason. But that's all they say. There's no, there's no um, validation of their claim. And usually also the lack of transparency of the account if it comes from a cartoon account. So when I deal with that myself, regarding, you know, well, if the person I host or sponsor, what it might be, is a bad person, I don't see anything, right? So not only that, but the account comes from, you know, Mickey Mouse or Elmer Fudd account, you know, claiming to be, you know, a, a mucky muck or a chipmunk or whatever. So this is about the Church of Lucifer. I had to do some bullet notes as I go on these tangents. Uh, my TBI is still around. Um, the Church of Lucifer is head, headed and created by Juan Rendon out of Texas. And Juan Rendon uh, makes a lot of proclamations. He has a very uh, funny resume. He claims to be related to Michael Ford. And Michael Ford doesn't know who he is. And someone else made a video in communication with him. Uh, I believe in transparency because, quite simply, you can have all kinds of accusations thrown at you. Um, my only my validity or response would be, show me the proof. If you're going to make an accusation, show me the proof. If you don't have it, you're full of shit. So when I do my live, for instance, check out my TikTok account, or actually, no, my, um, forgive me there, but it's a YouTube account. I have a live stream list. And once you check out the live stream, you'll see I have correspondence from 86 to 96, which is before the internet, where I'm in communication with Peter Gilmore and the Temple is set. And it's not for a one-uppance. It's just a show. I've been a Satanist for a long time. almost It's about 40 years now. So when it comes to the Church of Lucifer, there are a lot of claims being made. You know, he's, he's related to the people down in South America, all that. Well, a lot of other proclamations have been made, like master's degree and so forth. So that's fine. You know, he, he might know another language or two. I used to know seven at one point. Doesn't mean much. However, uh, he works as, an elect, as a commercial electrician. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But when you think your life reflection would be a little bit different. Anyways, um, there were other things that bothered me because I also worked heavy industrial as a welder and I was making $3,400 a week and he was basically telling the world that he needed money for medicine. Well, if, if, you know, if you're making close to what I was making, you wouldn't be asking for money or you wouldn't put yourself out there to have people give you money, right? Also, um, my stint, I left back in January. I walked out. I waved goodbye with two middle fingers and off I went. Yeah, the high priestess at the time didn't like one of the organizations that I promote in Satanism because I promote Satan and the ism. I promote this organization, the Order of Nine Angles. And it, it, I am a recognized uh, what was it, associate? So I'm not even initiated. Just, boom. Here's one of the organizations. I have about 240 that I've listed. And this person picked out one, right? And all the heinous things and all this horrible stuff. Well, she, Annabelle, whatever her name was, was named Donald. Well, the reason why we know Donald is not because of the factor of uh, trans, it was the factor of um, this person was convicted of heinous crimes required to be registered in the state of Texas. You figure those out. Anyways, the administration, the board, the board of the church, or the circle of nine, however you want to call it, of that church of Lucifer by Juan Rendon, um, Apparently, by testimony of a former member, they knew it three days prior to announcement. Okay. I'm sure they had to figure out and check for themselves. Not too hard. Look up that person's real name, state of Texas, Google it, and it pops up. Yeah, registry. 
Um, one of the one, one of the many controversies was not just that. To me, it was a rub. I was like, all right, someone, someone, you know, didn't like who I promote out of 250. This one organization they didn't like, and and they had this moral stance. Come to find out, they're the least moral of the of everybody, right? And then you have uh, so when I, again, I left five months ago, four or five months ago, I left. And then this controversy hits. I go on Facebook. They're all friends. Now, at the time I found out and made videos about it, as you've seen before, a week or two after, they were still rubbing elbows on Facebook. All of them. Screen pics. Got them. So the, when you have members out there saying, you know, we're not Satanists, we're Luciferians. Well, of course. Luciferians, uh, you know, under the Church of Lucifer, um, have people of vile criminal backgrounds that are uh, that are supposedly hidden because you're you know you're shielded underneath another guise of phobe, right? I won't get into it, but you know this person was very good at throwing a lot of shaded people. You know, you're a phobe, or you're this, or you're that. Well, I'm not a registered fender, you know, like this person was, but they they were projecting very good. So, but you know, things stink. You want to look for the turd? Didn't have to look far. And so uh, I'm doing bullet notes because I go on these tangents here. So here's the la here's the last rub, at least with me, is I do ALM and I do NLP. In other words, it's part of who I am as a Satanist. So ALM, Audio Linguistic Method, and NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. In short, Neuro, Ling Neuro Linguistic Programming would be, if you're not focusing on me, you see this. If you see this, you might see these books. But if I want to send a message, I'll put the title out so you'll see what I'm reading. And that's NLP. ALM is when I throw keywords out, certain keywords or scenarios to put a picture in your mind. So that you can go off and figure out yourself or act out on yourself. In my case, I wrote, I did other videos where I talk about talking to Mr. Ford. Uh, one Rendon claims that he was related to the guy and all this. Someone wrote to Mr. Ford on video and shown what, he, what the response was. Ta-da. So, uh, which Mr. Ford has proclaimed that this other guy's lying that he doesn't know who he is so with that said um okay there's the other rub right the guy's lying how much of a liar is he let's take a look i do another video you go to this texas secretary of state look up business uh business listings as a social experiment my own insight I do a uh, I do a website called or ministry called Access Sanctuary and Chapels. I registered with the state of Florida. I was a legitimate ministry. The Church of Satan's registered over in T uh, New York. The Satanic Temple is registered in Massachusetts. You have to have a registration to do a nonprofit business. And only that, a regular business might say a hundred bucks to list, depending on what state you're in. But let's say it's a hundred dollars. A nonprofit's twenty, so they make it really easy for you to start a nonprofit. I even have my IRS letter, so I walk the walk and talk the talk. I was trying to coach the guy, Juan Rendon, on how to do the Church of Lucifer in case he didn't know how to do it already, or did, it, or hasn't done it. He hasn't. There's about fourteen businesses named Lucifer in the state of Texas. Fourteen. Roofing, electrical, flooring, but not the church. And I did a search of his name for the corporation, zero. So, yeah, now there are caveats that might prevent the search, but still, you would have to find a listing, a business person, a president, a secretary, and a treasurer. None. So, the Church of Lucifer is the Church of Juan, and only that. Church of Juan seems to be collecting some money now. Fundraising, banners, hats, 
bandanas, masks, gaiters, whatever. Coffee cups. But he ain't going to any church. He's going to the church of his front pocket with a bunch of money. So, yeah, my what's my fight in this? The very person that essentially kicked me out because I was a bad, mean speaker. Um, well, what can I say when your high priestess, Donald, uh, you know, is a registered offender in one state, moves to another state, Oregon, so that they don't have to register. In a scene live with kids. Yeah. Um, you know, you, 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 uh, not doing anything. Just she, she or he's live doing a, uh, a meeting kind of thing. And there are kids in the background. All right. But yeah. But again, I caught them, uh being friends over on Facebook about a week or ten days later after all this. And I thought, how strange. If they were posturing on TikTok, why aren't they doing things unilaterally? Wouldn't you disassociate all together? I mean, Juan Rendon's great for being a ghost. I mean, hell, even on my phone he disappeared. I don't know how he did that. That was a good trick. But I still have his info. So, yeah, you got to love it. And as for me, my campaign, it's not mine anymore. There are more people leaving or more people getting kicked out and more people, you get my saying? And because of all this, they're also paying attention. They're also video screening the events. They're also looking up more information than I intend to. And the story's unfolding even more. So, if you are familiar with the Church of Lucifer by Juan Rendon in Texas, that's who it is. Uh, be fair warned. Um, for whatever reason, they just uh, aren't legitimate, and uh, they like to have creepy people involved. So, I wish you all the best. Uh, it's a fair warning, but a fair expose. And, uh, you know, I have a 10-minute... 10 minute maximum to deal with uh, TikTok so I'll let it trim off by itself YouTube can be full time I might even throw this up on Rumble and uh, Twitch and uh, oh yeah I'm everywhere and that's the funny part you know I can focus for enough times to do what I need to do and then dispense and then fall asleep so I wish you all the best for you know cautionary tale of organizations Especially the ones that aren't satanic, the ones that are Luciferians. And, uh, yeah. But that's why when they make me a priest and it's not my religion or what I do to promote Satan and the ism, it's like, oh, curiosity has been killing the cat. Let's hear it squeal some more. And I let it screech till its final end of its nine life. And that's what I came up with so far. So I wish you all the best. I hope you're entertained. And, um, but yeah, go, uh, go look for yourself, be a pseudo member and then, you know, find out for yourself and you'd be surprised what kind of bullshit goes on there. So yeah, I'm not telling you to go run away or, or ostracize them. No, join up, see for yourself, make an account, call yourself one, you know, whatever. It, just, just have fun. Because honestly, they, they shot themselves in the foot the more and more you find. So, again, uh, I think I'm pretty much wrapped up here before I repeat myself more. So I wish you all the best. Take care. Hail Satan. <laughs>